welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my March favourites. I didn't do a February favourites, mainly just because um, a lot of the stuff that I liked in January I was still liking in February. And I don't like to do these videos unless I really feel like I've got some other stuff I really want to talk to you guys about. Um, but I can't believe it's the end of March. By the time this is up I actually think it's going to be April. And I'm so excited to be getting more into the spring and summer months. It just makes me so happy. Um, it also means I'm closer to my holiday, which is super exciting. Um, but yes, what I'm going to do, just before I jump in, I apologise if you hear kind of like banging in the background every now and then. Um, Dan and I live quite country-ish. Um, and on Sundays, sometimes there are... Um, some guys who go out like clay pigeon shooting and stuff near where we live so um and it goes on for hours it kind of goes on sometimes until two o'clock in the afternoon and it starts at like 10 sometimes and then other times we don't hear them so um kind of off topic to off topic but i just wanted to let you guys know that that's what that is so if you do hear the banging outside um i'm sorry um but yeah anyway let's jump straight into the video so I'm going to start off um, first with kind of like skin and body care kind of stuff and one is really random and I think I include this in a favourites maybe last year at some point um, but it is this Mitchum deodorant. Now um, I actually use two deodorants. If I'm at home not really doing very much then I use my Green People very natural sort of organic one. Um, just because I don't feel it's necessary to put the extra chemicals um, on my body. But if I'm really, really busy and I've got lots to do, then I've never found a natural deodorant that works for me. Um, so I do really like this Women's Mitchum Advanced 48 Hour Protection in Pure Fresh. Now this just smells incredible, guys. Oh my God, it just smells so good. And I've bought one that I'm going to take with me um, to America as well. But it's got such a lovely kind of fresh it's not lemony but it's just like spring it just smells incredible and as i'm busy if my arm lifts up and i'm at work i can be like oh i can smell my deodorant like coming out and it just smells so good um another thing is um a moisturizer for my skin which is the original source skin quench um body lotion and this is in what a surprise watermelon um and jojoba oil now you guys know i'm obsessed with watermelon if i see something that's got watermelon on it i will end up buying it um but i generally need body butters and they didn't have this um at the time in a body butter so i thought well i needed some more moisturizer i'm just going to try it anyway surprisingly it actually i'm not getting dry with it which is brilliant um, I really really love the original source range, this smells really nice, it feels really nice on my skin as well, um, so I would really recommend checking them out as well, if you like their shower gels then I think you're really going to like this as well, and I have actually now since I've had this bought a body butter which I'm going to take on holiday with me, but I can't remember which one it is, it might be lime and coconut or something like that. Um, it wasn't the watermelon one, but I really like this, it's quite a subtle watermelon scent, but anything watermelon for me works. The next thing is kind of a bit random really, um, if you guys have um, seen my Imperial Candle video, um, if you haven't seen that I will link that down below, I'm going somewhere with this guys, don't worry, um, I'll have it linked down below if you haven't, and I've got this kind of thing that I'm a bit of a sucker for something that has got jewellery inside of it, so um, this company Diamond Soap um, was is actually a German company, and they've now launched over in the UK and I'm going to be quite careful because I keep it in here but the idea of this is 100% handmade, it's loads of natural ingredients to it they're not tested on animals um, and it's got a piece of jewellery embedded in the soap now what's really annoying is I haven't got to my piece of jewellery yet which is what I wanted to show you um, so I will probably post it on Instagram when I get there so make sure you're following my Instagram which is Love by Steph, but it's also, um, I have it the name and all my social media stuff down below and I will post the piece of jewellery when it comes out but this was in um, like a pink champagne now I'm just really worried it looks like this it's kind of got this really beautiful swirly colours I keep it in this because I can't stand soap um, just like on the sink just to go all really gross so I keep it in the tin because I just think it keeps it nice and tidy um, it smells really nice and the one thing I want to mention about soap is um, sometimes I find it really drying, so I'm really picky, but I haven't found this dries out too much. I really like it, it smells really nice, but I haven't got to the jewellery yet, which is quite annoying, because I've had it for a little while now. Um, I've probably been using it for about, 
a week and a half, I would say, in the bathroom. Um, I don't use it for all over my body. I just use this for my hands, but I haven't got that yet. But it smells really nice. I think it looks really, really pretty as well. But I'll have their website linked down below anyway if you're interested. Next, still sticking with skin, is actually a tanning product. Now, I have it, you probably think my arms look a different colour to my face, and that's because I've got it on today, and I haven't put it on my face. Um, but it is quite a nice colour, and I've really liked it. And I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos a little while ago about it, and um, some people said they really liked it, the colour of... Um, my fake tan that I had on. So I kind of want to explore a few more fake tans. Um, I, you know I love my Super Drug Soleil Instant Tanner. It is still probably my favourite fake tan. Um, in fact, no, it is my favourite. It smells the best. It's such good value. It doesn't test on animals. Paraben free. So easy to get. It is still my absolute favourite. But, um, Cocoa Brown, which I think you can get in Primark, and I think you can get them in Tesco's, which I don't, I don't really shop in Tesco's, but you can, um, have got this, no, you think, why is it on your arms? Lovely Legs Fake Instant Fake Tan. Now, I am much more of a fan of instant fake tans than the ones that you have to put on and let set and then get in the shower. I have got their one hour one, which I'm still trying out yet, um, but I haven't made an opinion on that quite yet because I don't really feel like it developed greatly on me just yet. So I am sort of testing that a bit more, but this one, I'm really impressed with this. Now, what I like about it is, um, is actually, even though it's instant, it's actually water resistant. So if you're like, if you just quickly sort of rinse your hands or something, um, and sometimes with my super drug one, if water spits like up onto your arm, you become a bit like a Dalmatian and um, it just doesn't look very good. It looks really silly. And then I'm like, oh God, now it looks really weird. I've got to try and rub it in to blend it or anything. It doesn't happen with this. You have to use really hot soapy water for it to come off, which is brilliant for me. That's one thing about instant fake tan that really gets on my nerves. So it is water resistant to that extent. Now they say they use it on your legs, but I thought I wanted to have a go on my arms and I'm actually really impressed with it. I feel like it really like makes my arms look really nice and um, it smooths them out, it gives them quite a nice glow. So I am really happy with it. I use it with their, okay, I haven't washed this so it looks really grubby, um, with their self tanning mitt, so it's really disgusting. So I do need to wash this. Um, but it works obviously really, really well with this. Um, but yeah, I will have their website um, and stuff linked down below for you guys. Um, but you can get it, um, I know you can get it in Tesco's, but I'm sure you can get it in Primark. But um, yeah, so I was really impressed that it has no fake tan smell. And yeah, I kind of just want to explore a bit more fake tans really, because um, obviously in the UK we don't get a lot of sun. But also, we all know that having too much sun is not that good for you, um, for your skin. So I kind of just want to... Um, find fake tans that I'm really happy with and I feel sort of that confident in them I guess so that I don't have to worry that I'm either going to smell like I've got fake tan on because I think that's the worst but yeah I'm quite impressed with it let me know what you guys think you see all my arms and I kind of do it so that I blend it round so that it has a little it looks a little bit more real um because no no tan um on me anyway ever is like brown all the way round on my arms it always has got sort of a slightly paler look here and I just think that makes it look a little bit more real so I don't all, I don't blend all the way around it next moving on to makeup um I've actually only got two things really to show you makeup wise and one of them um is an MUA um lipstick and this is in shade 15 called juicy and it's what I've got on my lips now it smells quite nice um and it's just this really really beautiful kind of peachy, um, really pale, corally peachy um, lipstick. And I really like it, and I think it was a pound. They're so cheap, the MUA things. Um, I actually did a makeup tutorial using this so you can see it a little bit more up close, which I will have that link down below as well if you're interested. I've got to remember all these things that I said I'm gonna link down below now. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I've been wearing it a lot. I think it's quite fun for spring. Um, so I like that. And the other thing is actually what I got in a birch box. And it's the Benefit um, Mascara in Roller Lash. Now, I, I'm always a bit funny about Benefit because of the, like, the cost of things. Sometimes I think they're a bit overpriced for what they are. But oh my God, I love this mascara so much. And it's such a shame it's so small. I know I'm definitely going to go and buy this in a full size product. Um, 
it's not waterproof and yet I always use waterproof mascara because I've got quite oily eyes, dry brows but oily eyes, so I often get mascara underneath. Um, but this doesn't do that at all on me, which is quite shocking. Um, so I love this. Since I've got it, I've used it every single day. I haven't used anything else since. Um, I really, really love it. It's been quite handy as well if I want to chuck it in my bag and top up, but I don't top up during the day really. It goes on so easy. It doesn't clump on me at all. Um, it doesn't smudge on me. I, re I do really, really love it. And I love it when I find a mascara that um, just works for me as well. And I think it's perfect for during the day. The next thing is nails. And one of the nail polishes um, is an Old Barry M Jelly favourite of mine, which is in Greenberry. Again, I use this in my... Um, like sort of Easter spring makeup tutorial and I forgot actually how much I love it. Every time I put this on I'm like oh I love it so much it's just such a lovely bright colour um, and a lot of you were asking as well what was on my nails and it was this one so um, I wanted to include it because it really has been a favourite of mine this month and then the next one again are Barry M's and I wanted to include these because I think some people have kind of they love them or they hate them. Now I've seen um, blog posts about people really not liking them and not liking um, the kind of how it goes on, the how it paints on the nails um, and the quality of the polish but I'm actually really quite impressed with them and it is the Barry M Speedy Quick Dry Nail Paints and I showed these in my last haul video um, which I'm going to be taking these to on holiday because they are super quick drying and I've got on my nails at the moment Eat My Dust and I have also used the um, this one, which is in a heartbeat. Um, I would say they dry in maybe because I put a top coat over the top. That's not like a it's not a barium one. It's the Revlon um, gel top coat, the diamond one. I would say in about from the time I start to finish, about 15 minutes is my turnaround for these. And I or you do have to put two coats on them, but they are so cheap. They dry, dry so quickly and the amount of nail polishes that I've got that sometimes I'll be sitting there for about an hour because I do put quite a thick layer on because I do like them to, my nails to look really quite creamy. Um, they are thinner than some others but for the sake of how quick they are, like I don't have a huge amount of time to spend on my nails anymore since Dan and I moved in and also the amount of housework you have to do and with all the cleaning all the time, my nail polish would chip all like chip like the next day. So I was constantly having to redo them and it was just driving me mad. And to be honest, for 15 minutes, I've got time to do that. But also, they lasted like a good three to four days without really chipping. I was so impressed with them. That was when I used this one. Um, and yeah, I really, really like them. And I'm definitely going to go, oh, let's show the front of them, interested in picking up some of the other colours. In fact, I hope they come out with a bigger range than they have got um, at the moment because I think they've got about was it 8 or 10, something like that. So I really like them. For random favourite time, it is my iPhone 6. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm so happy with it. It's faster because I'm finally on 4G. Um, I love the size of it. It looks makes it so much easier looking at the screen. Um, I've gone also for the 64 gig compared to I've always only had 8 or 16 and it's just so much fun being able to take more photographs and download more apps. Um, I have got a what's on my iPhone um, and my case collection so I'll have that link down below as well for you. Since then I've actually downloaded a few more apps um, which I will tell you. So I've downloaded Instagram and um, Hyperlapse by Instagram as well since then and facetune to try and get like nicer whiter backgrounds on my instagram photos it's not to be editing out any zits although if i did have a big one i'm not saying that i probably wouldn't do that as well um but yeah i i love it i absolutely love it um i keep changing my cases from case to file as well i really really like that but um that's kind of a random but also kind of linked to it is i've been obsessed with soundcloud as well um, I just love finding slightly different music. I think they'll be quite fun to find music to put in my videos. I just really, really like it. YouTuber of the month um, is, right, it's Blogger Lattes. Now, I really like her anyway. I've been subscribed to her for ages, but there are um, a couple of videos in particular that I've been loving. Now, 
a lot of you guys might know I like my Nutribullet and making smoothies, sometimes I post them on Instagram. Um, I've got my jawbone up, which I really do use, and it does encourage me to take more steps and to not sit down so long. Um, and I've started to track a little bit more of my food on there as well, so I can sort of make sure that I'm getting enough, um, mainly enough fibre in my diet, because I don't really get a lot of fibre in my diet. So um, trying to increase that, and it keeps me tracking on that. But also, um, I've really wanted to start improving my fitness a bit more. So um, I went on hers and I thought, I will not do it if it's going to be more than half an hour. I just, I know I won't. So I just found a couple of videos um, of hers, which I will link those particular videos down below as well as her channel, um, that have really actually helped me sort of work on my problem areas, which I would say are um, my legs, but just also then to tone up my tummy as well. Um, but yeah, I've really, really been loving some videos of hers. So even though it's not a YouTuber as a whole, even though I love her whole channel, um, there are some videos of hers that have really, really helped and I've already noticed a difference just sort of doing it for about a week to two weeks now and I do it a couple of times, those videos, probably about three to four times a week. Um, and I've noticed they've really helped and I kind of just want to feel a bit more bikini body ready for um, when we go on holiday, which is so exciting, which now technically I can say because this video is up is this month, which is super exciting. <laughs> Guys, I can't wait. Um, also, probably a bit of a fashion random favourite is my central perk top that I got from Primark, which I showed in my recent haul. I love it so much, I'm a bit obsessed with it. Um, and I've also been watching Friends all morning before I film this video as well, so I'm in a real Friends kind of mood. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've liked it. I'd love it as well if you guys would comment down below something you're really excited about April. I'd love to know what you're doing as I'm really excited about April. And yeah, and let's just share some good stuff of what's going on this month. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.